What's up everybody? My name is Kevin Cornell and welcome to my channel. I haven't posted anything on this channel yet, but I'm going to dedicate it to all the things that I love. Um, and starting with my F-150 behind me, my Mr. C-Mobile, that's right. Um, I have another channel on YouTube, it's called Learning Science is Fun, so if you're into science and experiments and songs and music, this channel is actually going to be dedicated to stuff that is not about my science, because this channel is going to be about my cars. First things first, 2018 F-150 2.7 liter, love this truck, I've already done a couple things to it, I've added the auto stop so that it doesn't shut off at the stoplights. That drove me crazy. And I took some video of when I installed it, so I'll upload that at another time. I also have my Diamondback SD tonneau cover. It is the best investment I have made for my truck so far. It's the best. And it is just heavy duty. You just name it. it, it just does what it needs to do. And it really protects the inside of my, my bed and actually it has a little bit of security built in as well. So I love that tonneau cover. It is just something awesome. And I took some footage and I'll put a video together for those of you who are interested in seeing a review and what that's about. But the video for today is actually a little bit different. We are going to install my k and cold air intake system for my 2.7 liter. F-150, I'm so pumped. This is going to be hopefully a nice little upgrade to give me a little bit more of a boost performance-wise and maybe even some better gas mileage to get a breathe in a little bit better. So let's get to it. Let's pop the hood and let's see what we're into. So here is the existing air intake system. A couple of bolts. Should pop right off, be able to install everything easily, and uh, let's do it. By no means am I, you know, a top mechanic, but I do some handy stuff. Oh no, it's gonna rain. If it rains, this project's gonna get cut short. I do a lot of work on my cars. It's fun to work on my cars, I enjoy it, and uh, let's get at it. So before I get started, I'm actually going to keep the recording on continuous and I'll edit it afterwards. I want to see exactly how long this takes for an average mechanic, someone who is a hobbyist, someone who just wants to put this together. Um, everybody says online it takes between 30 and 60 minutes, so we're going to put that to the test and see what happens. Here we're going to remove these clips. Pop that off. on it. So here for the sensor, it's taped up all goofy, but you just squeeze in and it pops off. So this is the sensor we're going to reuse and it just takes a little bit of a turn, not quite a quarter turn, and it just pulls out nicely. And there we have it. We're going to reuse that in the k and and we'll talk about that in just a second. Take out the air filter. That is what an air filter looks like after 10,000 miles. I just had the oil change done. So this truck is getting its work done. I did 10,000 10, miles in six months, which is pretty unique for me. I've never driven that much, but with my work traveling around, I'm putting a lot of miles on this. So here we have it. Super simple to take apart, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes if that. So let's unbox this kit and uh, let's put this thing together. Pins, some sort of rubber gasket, gaskets, plural, rubber seal. is here in a second and the actual air cleaner 
Ah, thing of beauty. All right, first things first, we have got to get this set up to install. So this goes into the clip and we'll see how that clicks in here. So on the bottom of this, we need to put two rubber gaskets to seal the box. So it's gonna go up here and down here. Centered. Boom, it's already glued on there. Do that twice. So we got that super glued on the bottom there. And we have it over here as well. These should be cut nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches, the tube is 19 inches total, and then just split it in half. So on this next part, you flip it over. And I've seen it done two different ways. People run it around all the way around. I'm actually going to measure the top and the bottom, and then we're gonna cut it that length, and then we're gonna run it over and cut it. So we'll, I'll show you what we're doing. I'm just gonna run this down right here and I'm gonna cut it off when I get up here and I'm gonna use the leftover piece and put it on top of this. Run it down the other side. So there is our top of the box. Now we need to install our grip. All right, so I had to move spots. It started raining and I had to pick everything up really quick. But now we're gonna finish this bad boy up. All right, so there are two bolts. There are two screws that went into that. Super simple, screwed them in. And now we're going to we're going to add our filter to this. We're going to bring it in from the bottom. It fits better that way. There we go. And we're going to turn this so that we can easily crank it down. So we're going to crank this down. I'm going to recommend you do it from the top so that you can get access to it again later. while it's installed in the truck. All right, it's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. So we're gonna install this sensor into this tube. But we need this gasket to do that. We're gonna pop that in right there. So we got that in, but now we need to put this sensor in here, but we gotta be really careful. We need to get that O-ring off, otherwise it's not gonna fit. So really carefully, we're gonna pull this O-ring off. Just like that, it's off. And now we're going to pop this in. And it is in there. So these guys pop right back in. Just 
one, two. All right, that is in there snug as a bug. And then once you got it, you just hook this back up. There you have it. With a little bit of a rain delay and moving everything and putting it, and it's about to start to rain again. Are you kidding me? I want to do a start on this thing. See what it sounds like. It's going to have to wait probably. No, rain, rain, go away. Ah. So there you have it. I installed it. We're gonna see what it sounds like. So sorry about the, uh, it might not be the best video ever. I, I My focus has never really been on vlogging and DIY stuff like this, but I do it for my science channel and it's a lot of fun. And I thought, what if I start creating some videos about that guy? And, um, but yeah, it's just a lot of fun. We'll get a cold start on here in a second. And yeah, it's gonna start pouring. Let me close the hood. I think it's almost, almost testable. All right, let's try it. If it gets a little wet, it'll be all right. Ford, you need to teach us how to open up <laughs> your hood latches. It's insane. <laughs> Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, but I can never figure out how to open it. Anyway. All right, the moment of truth. There you have it. I think it sounds pretty good. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Maybe an exhaust. I've read about different exhausts on the truck. Let me know what you think. You know, put a comment down below. What should I do next to the truck? It's only a 2.7 liter, so I'm nervous about putting an exhaust on it. I don't know what it's gonna sound like. My Camaro is a 5.0 and it sounds mean, but I don't know what these are gonna sound like with an exhaust, so I'm considering it, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet or not. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the tutorial. I'm still learning. If you like what you saw, subscribe. I would appreciate it. I'm gonna build this channel up just like my other one. It's gonna take some time, but hey, with your help and your viewership, things can actually be pretty amazing here on the YouTube. More videos on the way. Out.